Okay, so we can let's start very much at the beginning because obviously you're a footballer that, um, you know, in your later teenage years were not part of an academy system. You could sort of come through the Nike Academy. When you were sort of seven, eight, nine, ten, were you sort of playing with family, local friends, or were you in a team? Um, so I was at Dundee United um, from uh, about nine to fourteen or something. Or, um, so I was playing for them, and then um, you know they were a bit far away from uh, where I lived and. Uh, getting up was a problem and there wasn't anyone to take me really so I stopped going there and um, yeah then I wasn't really playing with you know anyone really just just playing football um, and then and then I went to Nike. Yeah and when you were at Dundee as you say when you were you age 9, 10, 11 mm -hmm. was it just all about the enjoyment or were you thinking at that age this is really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Um, it's always been since um, nine or even younger and um, just playing football it's always been something i've wanted to do and um you know i've always thought about it is uh, hopefully i will get to do this um but it's always about enjoying it and having fun um and then whatever happens after that you know is, is a bonus and when you when you're growing up were you sort of someone that would sort of kick a t tennis ball about in the in the alleyway or you kicking balls against the wall when you, you, you're that kind of kid <laughs> yeah um i'd get in trouble actually because um i'd be kicking whatever it's just, if it's a stone in the street, a bottle, just anything really, um, just playing football is, is just an enjoyment to be honest. And, and when you're sort of that age, are you looking at skills? Were you sort of doing, looking at looking at other people and think I want to perfect that or looking on yeah. the internet? How, how did it work? How did you learn? Yeah, so um, back then I would always watch um, Ronaldinho, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, them videos, especially Ronaldinho, um, just amazing really to watch and um, I would always try and do things like that and you know, make sure it, it comes off and do it as many times as I have to to make sure, you know, it comes off. What was the first one you perfected then? Can you remember the first real bit of skill you uh, I would say it was a step over. i say a step over, you just start mastering that, just keep doing it, keep doing it, and then it, it, you just master it, it just becomes second nature. Um, was, there, was there a skill you tried to do as a young age and really struggled with, and then as you got older, you, you perfected it and you were like, that's yeah. the one? Uh, I would say that's the uh, around the world. Um, so I, I couldn't, you know, get to do that at the start. Um, but I kept on trying. I kept on trying, and then it, and then it worked. And when you like, when you sort of towards the end of Dundee, uh, say age 13, 14, Obviously, I don't want to say you're not you're not a big lad, but you, mm. you're quite a small diminutive yeah. figure. Were yeah. you thinking you were going to grow? Were you hoping you were going to grow? And that, was that partly why you ended up leaving? Um, well, the reason why I left was because it was far from home, and I couldn't really um, get to go. Um, but then. In terms of uh, my height and like the way I am, um, I never saw that as a problem um, yeah, because it isn't. It's it's football, you know. Um, um, yeah, that's that's never been a problem for me in my mind. I've always thought, you know, football's, you know, sh it, the way it should be played. Anyways, the way I see it, um, it's it's the beautiful game. It's not about um, anything else really. Mm. Uh, when say when you left uh, Dundee, then you, you obviously. Were you thinking what's next? How, how did how, were you a couple of I don't know, months, years go go past where you were thinking is this ever going to happen for you? Yeah. So um, when um, you know when I left, uh, then I was so young, so I didn't really think mm -hmm. of um, mm -hmm. what's going to happen next. But then as I got older, uh, around 16, 17, then you start to think like you know um, what's going to happen. Uh, you start to wonder, you know. Um, so. Those moments are a bit, it's a bit difficult, but then I've always believed and I always knew, um, you know, I just believed in myself that it would happen at some point anyways. And uh, then I went to Nike and then, um, yeah. Before we come on to Nike, school-wise, school were you someone that was desperate to just do PE or did, did, you, did you have a, another focus? Because often when you speak to footballers, they say, yeah, I did okay at school, but ultimately my aim was to be a footballer. Were you yeah. someone leaning towards that side as well? Um, no, I didn't like it much. I can't lie. Um, when it was PE time, that's that's when um, you know I, I'm just happy to to go and um, if it wasn't football as well, it wouldn't be good. But um, but yeah, PE was good. Any other sports catch your eye at the time? I like badminton. Uh, I think that was good. Um, what else? Uh, no, just yeah, football and um, maybe badminton. Yeah. Yeah, basketball was good to be honest. Did someone lift you up? No, no, nah, nah, I just always run past everyone and then try and shoot. <laughs>
Well, Shriki, in part one, we got as far as sort of the Nike Academy. Talk us through how that happened, because people that don't know about the Nike Academy, it is essentially um, a, a squad put together to, to bring people that were not signed to other clubs into a group and see where they could take you. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, that, that is it. Um, it was, uh, it's based uh, at St George's Park, and um, it's basically just players from all over the world, really. Um, and the, the final trial was, at, uh, was in France, at Clairefontaine, and then they picked two players from Brazil, everywhere really, and then seven from UK, because obviously it was um, from UK. And then uh, when you go to France, you know, they picked 11 players from there and you, you join the, the academy. It, it was fantastic, to be honest. It was one of the best things that I've done. What kind of pressure do you feel under in those kind of things? Or don't you feel pressure? Because ultimately, obviously, you want to be selected. Mm. But I guess for you, having not been at a club for a little while, it mm. was a case of trying to showcase what you're all about. Yeah. And we've, we've shown, you know, what you what you can do. Um, there's no pressure, really, because if you, when you don't have anything, um, all you can do is just show what you what you can do and mm. do it to, to the best uh, you can. Uh, you won't lose either way, um, because if you don't have anything, and, and you won't have anything mm. anyways. So I try to, um, you know, just do, show everyone how, how good I am, and then, and then the rest takes care of itself. Do you, are you still in touch with any of them people yeah, from yeah, the yeah, academy? Yeah, Has yeah. anyone gone on like you? Yeah, actually, one boy we played against Oxford, uh, Sean Clare, he was, um, he was at Nike Academy, but the year I came, he left uh, that year. Um, so, yeah, there, there's been a few players that I've went on to play, yeah. Mm, and, and in terms of where that sort of take you as a, as a platform, because once you're in that sort of Nike squad, you then play games against other, other teams? Yeah, so the year before I came, uh, they played Barcelona, Inter Milan, big clubs, and um, uh, the year I came, we got to play Man City, um, some big clubs we got to play, we got to go Russia and uh, play at Spartak Moscow. Um, so it's, it's really good to you know, showcase yourself and, and show what you've got. Mm. And in terms of coaches, what, did they have sort of players that had played before? Or was it just, just spe specialised coaches that were working with you? No, they had um, John Goodman. I think you all know him. He was, um, he was a player before. Mm -hmm. uh, and Matt Murray, he's uh, the goalkeeper coach. Mm -hmm. um, so they had, um, you know, people coaching that had played before. Mm. So it was really good. And, and also, ultimately, that gave you a platform because, as you say, when you're not playing, it's very hard to get spotted. But when you're part of a group, then people can come and watch you play. And is that how you moved to Grimsby happened? Uh, literally, yeah. Um, so before I went to Grimsby, um, I, I could have went to two other places. Uh, I went there and then I got injured, so I had to go back to, to Nike. Um, and then once I got fit again, um, went to Gr Grimsby, saw me. So when you're playing football, it doesn't matter where. As long as you're playing, you can, you can be seen. If, if you're not playing, then it's, it's very difficult. Hmm. Yeah. Was it, was it a, uh, I suppose, when you're coming out of the Nike Academy and Grimsby wanted you, it's just nice to feel wanted, isn't it, I, I guess? Yeah. It, it, was it something that you thought, right, this is the start of my career, so to speak? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, you, you, you want to try and do the best you can and then uh, j just play, really in front of um, people and wherever that is, uh, as long as you're playing, it's, it's the most important thing. And just finally, when you, when you sort of look back at to what the Nike Academy did for you in terms of giving you that platform, but also the environment that you were in, because you know, without being now, I'd imagine it was really well looked after and you'd say you yeah. got the, the opportunity to travel. How important is it for, uh, for teams like that, for people that are finding themselves out of, out of work in terms of football? Because it, mm. it's going to spiral even more at this stage. Yeah, what I would say is, um, you know, football is a game where, you know, one day it's, you know, up and then one day it's down. Um, the, the main thing is to just keep playing and, and enjoy it and see what happens because um, not every single player that plays at youth level, at big clubs or even normal clubs, make it to the first team. The main thing is to play in the first team anyway, so it doesn't matter if you've not, you know, had a career in the youth team or, or it doesn't matter really. The main thing is to focus and, and do your best to actually get into the first team of, of any club and then take it from there.